Asparto Salais, Wikipedia article audio. Asparto Salais is a hydrolase enzyme responsible for catalyzing the deacylation of N acetyl aspartate into aspartate and acetate. It is a zinc dependent hydrolase that promotes the deprotonation of water to use as a nucleophile in a mechanism analogous to many other zinc dependent hydrolases. It is most commonly found in the brain, where it controls the levels of n aspartate. Mutations that result in loss of aspartosylase activity are associated with Canavan disease, a rare autosomal recessive neurodegenerative disorder. Aspartosylase is a dimer of two identical monomers of 313 amino acids and uses a zinc cofactor in each. There are two distinct domains in each monomer, the N-terminal domain from residues 1 to 212 and the C-terminal domain from residues 213 to 313. The N-terminal domain of aspartosylase is similar to that of zinc-dependent hydrolases such as carboxypeptidase. However, carboxypeptidases do not have something similar to the C-domain. In carboxypeptidase, the active site is accessible to large substrates like the bulky C-terminal residue of polypeptides whereas the C-domain sterically hinders access to the active site in aspartosylase. Instead, the N-domain and C-domain of aspartosylase form a deep narrow channel that leads to the active site. Structure Mechanism The zinc cofactor is found at the active site and is held by GLO24, HIS21, and HIS116. The substrate is held in place by ARG-63, ASN-70, ARG-71, TIR-164, ARG-168, and TIR-288. The zinc cofactor is used to lower the pKa of a ligated water so that an attack on n acetyl aspartate may occur and to stabilize the resulting tetrahedral intermediate along with ARG-63, and GLO-178. There are two types of possible mechanisms for zinc-dependent hydrolases depending on what is the nucleophile. The first uses deprotonated water and the second attacks with an aspirate or glutamate first forming an anhydride. Aspartosylase follows the deprotonated water mechanism. Zinc lowers the pKa of a ligated water molecule and the reaction proceeds via an attack on N acetyl aspartate when the water molecule is deprotonated by GLO 178. This leads to a tetrahedral intermediate that is stabilized by the zinc, ARG 63, and GLO 178. Finally, the carbonyl is then reformed, the bond with nitrogen is broken and the nitrogen is protonated by the proton taken by GLO-178 all in one concerted step. Aspartosylase is used to metabolize N-acetyl aspartate by catalyzing its deacylation. Aspartosylase prevents the buildup of N-acetyl aspartate in the brain. N-acetyl aspartate is one of the most abundant amino acids found in the brain with concentrations of up to 10 mm and makes up about 1% of the brain's dry weight. It is believed that controlling N-acetyl aspartate levels is essential for developing and maintaining white matter. It is not known why so much N-acetyl aspartate is produced in the brain nor what its primary function is. However, one hypothesis is that it is potentially used as a chemical reservoir that can be tapped into for acetate for acetyl-CoA synthesis or aspartate for glutamate synthesis. This way, an acetyl aspartate can be used to transport these precursor molecules and aspartosylase is used to release them. For example, an acetyl aspartate produced in neurons can be transported into oligodendrocytes and the acetate released can be used for myelin synthesis.
Another hypothesis is that N acetyl aspartate is essential osmolite that acts as a molecular water pump that helps maintain a proper fluid balance in the brain. Mutations that lead to loss of aspartosylase activity have been identified as the cause of Canavan disease. Canavan disease is a rare autosomal recessive disorder that causes spongy degeneration of the white matter in the brain and severe psychomotor retardation, usually leading to death at a young age. The loss of aspartosylase activity leads to the buildup of N acetyl aspartate in the brain and an increase in urine concentration by up to 60 times normal levels. Though the exact mechanism of how loss of aspartosylase activity leads to Canavan disease is not fully understood, there are two primary competing explanations. The first is that it leads to defective myelin synthesis due to a deficiency of acetyl CoA derived from the acetate product. Another explanation is that the elevated levels of N acetyl aspartate interfere with its normal brain osmoregulatory mechanism, leading to osmotic disequilibrium. There are over 70 reported mutations of this enzyme but the most common ones are the amino acid substitutions E285A and A305E. E285A reduces activity of aspartosylase down to as low as 0.3% of its normal function and is found in 98% of cases with Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry. The mutation A305E is found in about 40% of non-Jewish patients and reduces activity to about 10%. Of these two mutations, a crystal structure of the E285A mutant has been taken, showing that the loss of the hydrogen bonding from glutamate leads to a conformational change that distorts the active site and alters the substrate binding, leading to the much lower catalytic activity. Biological Function Disease Relevance